Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And welcome to our very first Christmas tips to celebrate your marriage for 2008. And the theme of our first one is just because. We want to challenge you in the month of December and not on December 25th to do something for your spouse just, just because. because. I'll give you a reason why. Several weeks ago, Jay was um, being a little sly person. Grace and I had gone out for the afternoon, and we came home a couple hours later. And when we walked in our house, we looked straight into the kitchen, and there was this big bouquet of flowers sitting right on the counter. And I looked at Grace, and Grace looked at me and went, what is that for? So I went in, and I picked up the little card that was sitting in front of the flowers, and I opened it up, and it said, just because love Jay. And I was like, oh, Grace, your dad bought me flowers just because. And do you know what she said? She said, I hope I marry someone just like my daddy. Well, obviously, there's a number of reasons why you should do things for your spouse just because. But this holiday season, when the kids are around a little bit more, you've got an opportunity to, to model what it really means to be in love with your spouse for your kids. The other reason is it communicates volumes to your spouse. Now, that little bouquet of flowers, I took one of Laura's favorite vases to my local flower store, it cost me $20, $20. Maybe you don't have $20 to spend, but you could send a note just because. Write an email just because. Buy some chocolate just because. Take her out for coffee just because, but find a reason. And when you do that and you surprise your spouse just because, you're gonna send a message that's gonna make this Christmas more special than you ever imagined. And by the way, I wasn't the only one that did something just because. And let me tell you what, it was well worth it. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> that was a month ago. <laughs> well, the fire is so delightful.